This is my Hardcore Iron Man. The last time I uploaded on this account was when I became the first Hardcore Iron Man in the game to get a Void Waker in OSRS. If you watched the previous videos on this account, my goal was always to PK when Bounty Hunter comes out. And since then, Jagex have announced that the release date for the new Bounty Hunter creators is the 24th of May. However, in this new version of Bounty Hunter, Jagex are making it so free spells and overhead prayers are not possible to use. This means my entire style of PKing is not possible. So you might be saying, oh, that's fine, just go and venge PK instead. But the odds of dying in that style are way too high to be doing on my Hardcore Iron Man. And especially since I never actually PK in that way. So I'd basically be a sitting duck to anyone who knew what they were doing. So now I'm just in an awkward position. My whole plan of PKing in Bounty Hunter has ended, so I need to come up with a different plan. I did actually discuss this at the end of my last video. I asked whether I should try and upgrade my current gear or try and complete the Wilderness Collection Log. And... The response was basically both, so my plan for this video is to do exactly that. My end goal now, or at least until there becomes a way to NHPK and BH, is to complete the Wilderness Collection Log, but also to get gear upgrades along the way from the regular game. I will still have my same bounty which will increase as my Hardcore Iron Man bank increases, as well as any donations you guys might have for me. My bounty at the start of this video is on screen now. So before I get onto gear upgrades, I have these 16 Lyran skis left from the Wildy Slayer. Let's hope I can get a Dagon High piece. I just need the top and the hat to complete the set. All right, last key now. Uh, nothing. All right, never lucky. After putting it off for so long, now I think it's a good time to do Dragon Slayer 2. It will let me get the Super Avas and also access to some Dragon Bolts that I'm going to need for my plan later. I'm actually a lot more nervous starting this quest than I am actually when I was doing the Wildy stuff. So hopefully it's not too bad. There we go, DS2 completed. Alright, let's go kill some Vorkaths. Yay, we did a kill. Alright, 49 more of those and then I won't need to poo myself every time. Yo, Dragon Bolts! There we go, first Dragon Bolts drop. Hey, more Dragon Bolts. Nice. 74 this time. Double D Bolts, let's go. That's nice. And a PB. Hey, nice. I got some more Bolts. 65 more Bolts, cool. Oh, yo! Hey, there we go. Vorka said, 41kc. We got it before the 50. Nice, we can leave. I didn't die at Vorka. That's a tick. All right, where's this upgrade? 5k, no way. All right, there we go. We got an extra range strength, which I could have definitely got before I did all the worldy stuff, to be honest, but better late than never. <laughs> so now I've got some Dragon Bolts, but not enough to PK with or anything like that. I think my best use for them is in the Inferno. I've never done an Inferno before without a Tebow or a Bofa, but I back myself with the gear I have. I will however need to get a few upgrades on my current gear so I can go to the Inferno, and the main one is Dragon Darts. Now I have some Dragon Dart tips in my bank, but in order to boost the 95 fletching level requirement, I have to get from 85 to 90 fletching. And the way I'm going to train this is by making broad arrows. Luckily from my wilderness adventures I have plenty of cash that I can spend on 163k arrowheads and feathers which is what I'm going to need for the level. Alright, well it only cost me like 11 mil, but that's all the supplies bought, hopefully for 90 fletching. Now I know you guys don't want to watch me making these arrows, so the next clip you're probably going to see is when this is all over. Okay, this is the last set of arrows. Um, I'm actually going to be a little bit short, but I do have uh, I do have logs in the bank, so I'll just finish off the 90 fletching in the bank. Alright, cool, 90 fletching. I can now go for the boost and try and make these darts. Alright, only took a few attempts, but there we go, 1440 darts. It should be enough for the Inferno. I think I'll get like maybe two attempts out of that. The last item that I want for the Inferno is the Amulet of Anguish. Now I already have the crafting level for this, so I just need to go and get a Zenite from the Demonical Gorillas. So it should be all right. Oh, uh, Ballista Spring. Um, yeah, that's that's useless, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, heavy frame. Uh, I think I just need one more thing for a heavy ballista now. Wait, can I use these on each other? Oh, yep, and. Okay, All right, I have an unstrung heavy ballista, so I'm missing, I think I, I'm missing a monkey tail, right? That's what I need. <gasps> Yo, okay, Zen Knight. Oh, I got a Zen Knight. Let's go. Okay, I can leave. 
Um, yeah, okay, so we did 307 KC here. That's, uh, that's pretty on rate, I think. I think it's one out of 300. All right, let's go make this anguish. Oh, there's the boost. And here we go. All right, cool. Necklace made. Sweet. Let's go enchant it. And there we go. There we go. Necklace of anguish. We are ready for the inferno. All right. Bye-bye, Cape. I will not see you again. Hopefully. Yes, sacrifice it. And this is gone. All right. Ooh, I'm nervous. Oh, I just realized I didn't do the cool thing that all the YouTubers do when they go into the Inferno where they do the big, big like, slow running in thing. Sad. Oh, well. Well, hello. I'm in the Inferno now. Here's a clip. <gasps> oh! Okay. Brew sound. My first brew. Who does says That's fine. All right. So the waves here were really bad, but we got to Zuck first attempt. So I have four brews. I hope it's enough, but I'm not sure. Oh, uh, please be enough. Yeah, what are you doing here? Why are the little shits hitting me so much? If I got another set, I'll have to off-ticket. Oh, that's gonna suck. Okay. These are RNGs. Oh, that's, unless you got both the ticks for- Yep! Yeah, <laughs> I, I legit off-ticked in the complete opposite direction. Oh, uh, I'm Hey, Helios Dark. I have way more food than last time. Oh, you beautiful, beautiful bolt. Oh, you're trolling. <gasps> oh, magic! <laughs> Come on, bro. Just die. There we go. Okay. Whew. We got it. We got it. And how many? 477 dots left. That was definitely the last attempt. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Okay. Uh, this is what my gear would have been if BH was a thing. But yeah, you're not allowed to NH and BH. So yeah, <laughs> I can't use this. It would, be, would have been so hype though, wouldn't it? It's okay though, because it does actually get me more time to get upgrades. And the upgrades I'm talking about can come from the Chambers of Zeric. I previously finished with Cox after I got my Dex Prey Scroll, but now I've got more time to go for the big PK upgrades in Ancestral Bottoms or Dragon Claws. Also, I wouldn't mind getting a T-Bow, it would be kind of helpful for PVM. But just for now, it's been a while since I've done any raids, and I just want to get back into the swing of things, really. Hey, okay, only about 20 raids and I've got a new personal best. 25 minutes and 39 seconds. Oh, yeah, okay, a purple. Yo, it's my first, uh, it's my first purple back after, like, 30 raids dry. Alright. I really hope it's something good, man. Just give me what I want. Imagine claws or ancestral bottoms, please. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Fucking arcade first go. Oh, well, at least I got something. Okay, okay, another PB. Yeah, that's the, that's, that's the, that's the gear upgrade for you. Is it a purple? <gasps> Ooh! Ah! What? Nah! Nah! You're fucking kidding me! No! I got a fucking spoiler! <laughs> nah! Oh, what is that spoiler though? Come on! What is that stupid spoiler? Uh, I'll take that spoiler to be honest. I think it's worth it. <laughs> oh, we got a Tebow. Okay. I guess we can We can be lucky sometimes, huh? We can actually be lucky sometimes. Dude, I'm not, I should have got this before the Inferno. That would have made it way more easy. That actually would have made it way more easy if I got it before the Inferno. <laughs> what the, what's the arrow situation looking like, actually? All right. I've got 3k dragons. 37k rune. Uh, yeah, that's quite good, actually. That should last me a while, hopefully. There's no way I... Bro, oh, oh, I've just realized as well. I've just realized as well. This Tebow is adding to my bounty when I go into the worldie. Oh, my my bounty has just has just gone up by like a bill. How much is a Tebow worth? 
1.4 bill is it's gone up. <laughs> oh my god. So now that my bounty is outrageously high, I think it's only fair that I give people a chance to come and claim it. When I left off Wilderness Slayer last time, I still had some spiders left on my task. So let's go back there now. Right, so I've got a spider's task still from last time, but now we have the anguish and the assembler as well, so it should be pretty good. Okay, I can already tell I'm hitting way better. Oh, yeah, this task should be gone pretty quick. All right, that's a trip done. Pretty good. That's my second red spider's eggs drop. Okay, there's the task over. Almost 500 KC now, which I'm not actually sure what the drop rate is for the pet. But I think all I need left is the pet, right? Wait, how do I find this? Here we go. Oh, I need the treasonous ring as well as the pet. Okay. We're getting there. Oh yeah, I forgot as well. You can actually extend revenant tasks now, so they'll be way bigger. That's such a big update from last time I was here. Nice. Man, that's Earth Warrior's task. I got one key. Right, zombie's task. It's a Black Knight's task done. I also realize I don't have a telly, which is interesting. So we're going to see how we get out of this. <laughs> right, I don't have the redirect, so hopefully this just takes me to the place I want to go. Please. All right, nice. Thank you. <laughs> Zombies again. Ooh, there we go. A reference task. 102. Pretty big. All right, so it's been a while. Hopefully, no one knows that I'm coming back to this spot because I'm going exactly where I was before. the hell? What are you doing, buddy? Level 90 comes and hits me. Really? Die! Nah. I'm lucky. Bet he's regretting his decision now. <laughs> That's what you get for hitting me, buddy. What the hell? Alright, so this is the first key I'm ever going to draw in this account. Probably going to be the first of many, hopefully. That's the first PK I've seen. I only killed like five revs, but yeah, I got the log out this time. Fucking hell. Literally like two kills later. Wow, okay, I guess it's active here, huh? Nice, that's one full invent. 1.5 more cash, that's actually insane. Uh oh. Ooh, phew. Okay. Like the splash there. Am I still locked up? Oh shit, another PK. Ooh, another splash. Didn't know he could pass it that far. So I'm gone now. Okay, so that's task over now. Uh, no more uniques. And also, it didn't really get attacked that much. Yeah, here's the KC. 1938. So I think it's fair to say a lot of progress was made in this video. I got a lot of regular game upgrades as well as the Inferno Cape and obviously the Tebow which is absolutely massive. And as you can see it brings my bank up to a total of 2.33 bill which is insane. If you enjoyed watching this video please leave a like and comment to help out with the algorithm. It really helped me a lot. Yo Kniepenschlager adding 120 mil to the hardcore bounty. Another 180 mil for the hardcore from Kniep. So my bounty at the end of this video is 3.86 bill.